Welcome to the Joy of Music. My name is Diane Bish, and I would like to invite you to join us today as we bring you a program of music entitled Towers of Faith, with music from churches and organs of Austria and Southern Germany. Thank you for joining us. In most European towns and villages, the foremost church is found in the center of town. In history, the church for many was the center of life and all activities were built around it. The towers of these churches rise above the town's buildings and houses and serve to remind those who see them of the importance of community, worship, and personal faith. In Austria and Germany, many of the most beautiful towers are the onion domes, Slavic in nature, and awesome in silhouette against the towering mountains. In the center of Batolz, a small, elegant town in the Bavarian countryside, stands the Pfarrkirche, or town church, with its towers seen many miles into the countryside. For many years, the joy of music and friends gave annual concerts in the church. In one of these concerts, renowned Heldon tenor James King joined me at the organ of the town church in singing the worship of God in nature by Ludwig von Beethoven. Stern, 
program of Towers of Faith, we visit Innsbruck, Austria, a city of many churches and beautiful towers standing against the snow-capped Alps. The Vildner Boy Choir of Innsbruck, Austria sings for us in the Abbey Church, God has made all things beautiful. In our musical journey, we arrive at the Etal Monastery in Bavaria. The foundation of Etal dates back to the 1300s. However, additions and alterations have been made throughout the years, beginning in the 1700s and continuing through the early 1900s. Of special note in this remarkable church is the ornate gold ornamented interior and stunning organ. Built in 1753 by Johann Hurtrich, the sound of this organ resounds throughout the church richly and clearly.
Although the organ of the Etal Monastery is brilliant in both sight and sound, a visit in the cold winter months can pose a large problem. The church is not heated, so one must dress in layers, even a coat to stay warm. A small heater above the organ keyboard serves to warm the top of the hands, but not the keys, which are like ice cubes to the touch. In several cases, it was necessary to warm our hands with a hair dryer between numbers. In our musical journey, we visit a legendary village in the Bavarian Alps known as Oberammergau. It is famous for its passion play that is performed in the village every 10 years. The passion play came about in the 17th century when the Black Plague was decimating Europe, including residents in the mountain valleys here in the Alps. With no relief in sight, the people in Oberammergau pleaded with God and pledged to perform the Passion of Christ every ten years if God would show them mercy and relief from this terrible plague. After this desperate plea, no other villages died, and since then, every ten years, the Passion Play is performed in Oberammergau.
With towers seen far into the countryside, the southern German monastery of Benedict Boren dates back to medieval times. Found within the walls of this ancient monastery is a basilica with an organ made in the 1700s, ornamented in gold, and the monk's chapel housing a more contemporary organ. It has been our pleasure to make music on both of these outstanding instruments in both the beauty of summer and the cold of winter.
My name is Diane Bish, and I would like to thank you for joining us today on The Joy of Music, as we have brought you a program entitled Towers of Faith, from the mountains and churches of Germany and Austria. Oh, praise you the Lord. Praise Him in His sanctuary. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. If you would like to purchase today's program or any program from our library of over 400, please visit our website at dianebishtv.com or call 1-800-933-4844. We look forward to hearing from you.